Three incredible headphones to compare, but which one is right for you? Let's find out. The Focal Clear, the HD800S, and the Hyphaman Aria, well, they're all headphones that have been very highly recommended in various shapes and forms all over the internet, including by myself. And at one point, these were all very similar in price. Now, the Focal Clear can be had for around 900, the Aria for around 1300, and the HD800S for around 1600. These are ballpark prices can fluctuate some in this hobby, but I would also say these headphones are all very similar in quality. So let's dig into these three headphones today and find out which one is right for you. Now, if you haven't seen the individual reviews on these headphones, I recommend checking that out, but let's start out with build first. Now there is no questioning the build of the HD800S. It's lightweight, it's made in Germany, and this is a time-tested headphone. It's been around for a long time in various forms, including through the HD800. Not much has changed since then in the build, aside from colorways and some tweaks to the driver. We know that this headphone lasts. It's lightweight, it has very spacious inner cavities in the ear cups, and it's certainly the most open sounding of all the headphones. We're just talking about being able to hear the space around you in the room you're actually in, not counting the music you're listening to. Though all of these are very open headphones, Aria has this more springy mechanism and definitely delivers a bit more clamp force than the HT-800S does, distributing its weight pretty well. These very large pads and suspension strap do a pretty good job. It does come pretty low on the head or pretty high, depending on how you have this set up. Either way, this is a tall ear pad. And some people really love this egg-shaped ear cup design. Out of the three, the Aria, well, you can tell looking at it, has the largest driver. It is absolutely massive. But that massive driver and all those magnets means a bit more weight than the others. Though, like I said, it's very well managed. The Clear has some weight to it, but it's not bad. It's also well managed, and it's not quite as much to deal with driver-wise as the Aria Stealth. You can basically see through anywhere on the cup of this headphone. It's very open to the room around it, and for standard heads, well, it's pretty evenly distributed. Fenestrated pads are nice and breathable. I like the feel of suede all the way around. The one thing to note is that this pad on the top is not as easily interchangeable as it is on the HD100S or on the Aria Stealth, which isn't to knock Focal's build because this is a beautiful headphone to hold and wear. Now, a few things to note there. Focal pads are not particularly cheap to replace. So while this headphone is cheaper than the other two currently overall, that is something to consider because pads will always wear out on headphones no matter what. They need to be changed out just like tires on a car. But I do quite like the build and feel of the Clear. In fact, I would go so far as to say the Clear is actually the most premium feeling of the three headphones I have here on the table. Does that make it the best? Well, not exactly, but depends on what your definition of the best is. Basics of build out of the way, I think it's time to talk about sound differences. I'm not gonna get too objective in this video. If you wanna see measurements of these individual headphones, you can in their respective videos. All three measure pretty decently. Uh, the Aria Stealth, I would say, is the most neutral leaning of the three. But again, it depends on your definition of neutral and balanced. Both the Clear and the Aria are headphones that I've said are jack of all trades, master of none. And that still holds true. I feel that is the case for the Focal Clear in terms of dynamic drivers, and I feel like that is the case for the Aria Stealth in terms of planar drivers. In every way, these headphones perform adequately. They have good soundstage, good imaging, good extension, good overall tonal balance, good detail, and so on. The 800S kind of steps out of this theme where it doesn't have the bass extension that either of these headphones has. But what it does have is incredible soundstage and imaging. The HD800S pretty much became initially popular and has always been known for having a holographic, a wide, a very immersive, and a very directionally accurate soundstage and image. And that holds true. Out of the three, this stages and images like nothing else. In fact, basically like no other headphone. And the same can be said for how it does detail retrieval and dynamics. Now, it's not as dynamic in the bass as something like the Focal, but in the treble, in the upper mid-range, it is a truly dynamic and truly detail-retrieving headphone. Yes, there are definitely things out there that will outperform this, 
but there's something about the HD800S that when you listen to it, you really do feel like you are hearing straight through to the recording. Now, that might not always be a good thing because this headphone does sound a bit more diffuse field. It definitely errs on the side of brightness, and it really doesn't care at all about sub bass. It's there, but not much. Depending on your preferences, you might like this a lot. I personally use the HD800S all the time, and not all music requires deep thumping sub bass, and if it does, and you're into that, well, these two do it pretty damn well. Another strength the HD800S has over the other two is in timbre, an instrument's ability to just sound natural. The 800S does this very, very well. In fact, I would say it's pretty much one of my go-tos, especially if I'm listening to binaural recordings. But in every other way, well, you're looking at the Focal Clear and the Aria Stealth. The Focal has what I would describe as some of the most enjoyable bass out of the three. It's very dynamic, it has a little bit of elevation to it, it's punchy, it's got a good solid attack and impact, and I just never really feel like the bass is lacking. The Aria Stealth takes a different approach to that, and, well, like many planars, has great bass extension. This goes the deepest out of the three, that earth-shaking deep rumble. Well, this can do that. It's not going to be quite as elevated in the low frequencies as the Focal Clear is, but it is definitely going to go deeper. In fact, that's one thing that many people commented on on, well, really any generation of the Hyphen Aria is its capabilities in bass extension. I mean, look at the size of that driver. The Aria also does a pretty good job with soundstage. In terms of soundstage, I would put it right between these two. Out of the three, the Focal Clear generally being the most intimate of the three, though still staging pretty well, the Aria Stealth being a little bit wider, and the HD800S being the soundstage king. There is a bit of a bump on part of the mid-range on the Focal Clear, and that seems to give it a bit more presence, a bit more intimacy with vocals. Whereas the Aria Stealth and the 800S make vocals a bit more roomy. So that really kind of boils down to your preferences. Now, it gets a little bit different when we start talking about amplification. The HD800S, well, that is a high impedance dynamic. It pairs well and easily with OTL tube amps. Now, I've said in my review of the Focal Clear, even though it's low impedance, I actually do like it with tube amps as well and feel like it can really shine in those scenarios. The Aria Stealth, however, I don't quite as much enjoy with OTL, and I would more recommend solid state options for this. With it being a planar lower impedance, you could look at hybrid tube amp options or something with an output transformer, and that would do pretty well for it. But tube amps that don't have a low Z output, well, I wouldn't really use with this, and then I would stick to solid state. And with that said, I really feel like solid state best benefits the lows and extension that the Aria Stealth is capable of extending to. Whereas with the Focal Clear, when you pair it with OTL tubes, you get more of that euphoric sound that people tend to chase with tubes. And in the case of the HG800S, well, people tend to use it more to just try and tame the highs. Between the three, the HG800S is a headphone I use at work. The Focal Clear is a headphone I use at home. And the Aria Stealth, well, it's a headphone I feel comfortable using for both. It really does sit right in the middle between these two, and it really just depends on where your preferences lean. All three of these headphones are great. There's no wrong answer, and that's why I bought all three of them. And I've had these headphones for a decent amount of time now. The Clear was my newest addition out of the three, and it has well earned its place on my wall. Is there any one that I could pick over the other two? I don't know if I could pick any one over the other two. And that, I feel like, speaks to the quality that all three of these headphones have. So, Focal Clear, Aria Stealth, and Sennheiser HD 800S, all fantastic headphones. I hope this video helped you kind of pick apart some of the differences between them, and maybe help you make a decision on which one is best for you, or maybe which one isn't. As always, all of these headphones are available at the link in the video description on headphones.com, and that is going to wrap up this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. A comment, let me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at the forums at the link in the video description. As always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next time, guys. Peace.